Hey, and welcome to the Rob and Kristen show. We're not together, but we're together. (laughs) How do you like that? We're actually in the process of building a set or an area. How about that? Maybe don't call it a set as much as an area. Well, I was starting to wonder when you said we're in the process of building a set. I was sitting here thinking, is there something that you know that I don't know? Yeah, well, not very much, dear. <laughs> not very much at all. Um, but <laughs> but we're excited to have you here. This is episode number two of the Robin Kristen show. Yes, and I don't know. I just thought this was it was an exciting part to say it was the number two. It was <laughs> we we got number one, and thanks to everybody that watched. Um, and, and we had a great time doing episode number one, uh, of the show and, and we're still evolving. You're going to go along with us on this ride as the Robin Kristen show evolves. We we've added some neat stuff. We added a podcast, which I want to talk about really quick, but before I do that, I want to thank the great folks at my pillow. My pillow has been a fantastic part of abundant TV from day one, in fact, even before we started, they said, we want to team with you and be a part of what you're doing at Abundant TV. And so we're super excited that they're a part of what we're doing at Abundant TV. And they're offering some fantastic discounts right now on everything from sheets to pillows to slippers, which we talked about last week. And all those things, if you go to their website, mypillow.com, Use the promo code ATV. It's super easy. And you can get your discounts at checkout. It is fantastic. And we are excited to partner with the great folks at MyPillow. So, hey, hey, let's talk about the fact that we've got a new podcast. Okay. Um, We have a couple of new podcasts. But you are also doing a new show here on Abundant TV and as a podcast as well, The Rob Pats Project. Yes. And then we are doing a podcast that is more of a Bible study. So, you know, if you are following along and are enjoying more of the Bible teaching, join us on our podcast. Yeah, the the, the podcast can be found on our website, AbundantTV.com. Kristen really does all the teaching, and <laughs> I really do all the... Um, funny statements you're that more was like the, the commentator you know if we were sports people sports announcers i would be doing the play-by-play and you would be doing the commentating so i'm like you're tony romo <laughs> okay we'll you're, you're jim Nance, i'm tony romo <laughs> you're buck i i'm uh uh what's his name the quarterback <laughs> Um, anyway, I don't know. I'm starting to think that I need to dig us out of this ditch that you're going down, but, uh, (laughs) that's, I think, you know, though, and and I'm really excited about when we get feedback from people about the show and people saying, Hey, listen, I love that you two laugh and have fun together. And we do. And that's part of our, our life together. We really enjoy being together. We really do. And and one of the things, Rob, that you see on the show is the same Rob that I see every day. And he just has this ridiculous sense of humor. It's just he makes me laugh every single day. More, I more than once. Be, I don't know if I should be offended. Ridiculous <laughs> sense of humor. I don't well, think that's by, a compliment. By, by ridiculous, I mean that you have a great sense of humor. It's just oh, okay. an, maybe a little overwhelmingly funny sometimes and you know sometimes you ever have those days where sometimes you just don't feel like laughing i'm working on that Mm -hmm. with this with the stress of my job some days rob just tries to be really funny to get me laugh and i just like i don't want to laugh right now but he keeps pushing then at some point in time i just start laughing because it's just so dumb i have to laugh remember that ditch (laughs) earlier Uh you're in it (laughs) No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Because I'll bet you there's a lot of people that w- are watching this say, "Hey, I can relate to that." <laughs> you could, you've had an, you've had a conversation at some point with Rob Pats, and you, you're like, <laughs> "I totally get it." Um, but no, we. So we, the other thing we kind of talked about last week, which was kind of fun, was we talked about Valentine's Day, and and there are people actually 
Um, I had a person send me a private message and say, you really didn't give your cards. It's really the truth. That is not a story. That is really the truth. It is absolutely the truth. We went and we picked out our cards and we were going to give them to each other at some point. But then we had these gifts that we were going to go together to pick out. And then we never did that. And so we just never wrote our cards. We never gave each other our cards. And here we are. It was our first Valentine's Day married. But it was also our first Valentine's Day together at all because mm -hmm. before we got married, Rob lived in Seattle. And so we were how many miles? About 1900. Thousand? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so we, it, was, it was a distance. <laughs> and so here we are. Nothing. So I guess out of all of this, Rob, we have to say that, hey, our biggest memory from our first Valentine's Day together is we didn't exchange cards or gifts. But you know what? We we at least did buy the cards. Oh, well, yeah, we bought the cards. So, so I mean, that's a good step in the right direction. <laughs> so what are we going to do for Valentine's Day this year? I don't know, but uh, we've been getting some suggestions about uh, what we should do. And some interesting ones. Okay. Some people obviously feel we have a lot more money than, than what we have. Um, and so like the private jet thing, that's not happening. I had somebody tell me that via text, um, which by the way, you can find my phone number on the website. So obviously somebody uh, did that actually about three people did that. And if one was like, you know, private jet, go some more fun for dinner and then fly home. Um, so those people obviously think a lot bigger than my budget, um, <laughs> you know, and so I was thinking more Chipotle and they're thinking, you know, jet plane. So we're, we're kind of, we're working on the different side of, of things. And uh, so that was one of them long weekend, some more fun and see, cause this year Valentine's day is in the week. It's like on a Tuesday. Yes. So, I mean, that would be fun. We would just have to plan it either before Valentine's day or after Valentine's day. So it would be fun. So I'm just curious because someplace fun is different for different people. So where would someplace fun be to you? And I'm just curious if our viewers have a place that they think is fun and want, want to make that suggestion to us. How can they do that? Uh, they can email us, which is really easy. Or they can find us on social media. Go to Abundant TV on Facebook and just post. Say, hey, listen, this is what I think. And we also have a group. And that's something we didn't talk about last week, which I think is, is really neat. And we have a group on Facebook that you can interact not only with us, but a lot of the ministries that are on abundant TV. Yeah. And it's a place to get daily devotions, um, a lot of updated information. And as we start developing more of our abundant conferences, those things are going to be on there as well. But, you know, we also had people sending people on Facebook were sending me messages about their favorite Valentine's Day memories. And you know what I think was really interesting is that everybody almost talked about these Valentine's Day boxes that they would make with either as a child or as adults with their kids. And people were sending me pictures, which I found fascinating. I mean, as a kid, that was absolutely one of my most favorite things to do for Valentine's Day was to take a shoebox and try to make it something really special. And one of the things, Rob, that you and I were talking about the other day is things have changed so much. I mean, back in our time when we were in school, we didn't have Google. We didn't have YouTube or Pinterest. So we couldn't just go and say, hey, Valentine's Day box ideas. These kids these days not only can get ideas from the Internet, but they can also get tutorials on YouTube about how they can go about making this. We, we thought copiers were cool when i was a kid that was that was it we were kind of you know so the whole google and stuff like that no i was in college by the time that that whole thing started but but um, it is one of those things the valentine's day boxes were really fun i mean we we made those things because there was always a prize you know and I, i'm competitive so i wanted to win and so we would try to make it as fancy or just as interesting and unique as possible and then but one of we would take it to school and they would judge them 
But one of my most favorite parts was just looking at the Valentines that I would get, get in them. And I actually have some of them still in a box someplace. That's cool. See, I, I don't know if I have any of my um, Valentine cards. Um, I, oh, I know I have. Somebody forgot to turn off their phone. That was me. <laughs> I know I have some of mine and hey, maybe that was somebody you. giving us a suggestion, obviously. <laughs> I I have some of mine and maybe if I can find them, I will take a picture with my phone and post them on our Facebook page. Hey, that's a great idea. You know what? Let's do this. Let's make sure um, that we have a post up there on our Abundant TV Facebook page where they can then post their picture underneath it. And we would love to share them. And as the show expands, we're adding some new equipment <laughs> that will um, allow us to be, I mean, this to me is exciting. By the way, for, for all of you out there watching, we've evolved from last week where we were together on one camera to now to two cameras and, and, and probably better volume mic wise and better look overall. Um, and we're going to be adding some equipment so we can show pictures and stuff from people. Um, and I think that's exciting. That's going to be a lot of fun. It really is. And, you know, when we were talking about Valentine's Day, we were looking up some stats. And did you know that last year it was over $23.9 billion that people spent on Valentine's Day? Well, yeah. A billion you, you, with a B. With a B. And, and and you look at that, and I think that the interesting part of that is that people really are, are getting into Valentine's Day. Now, I know it's not like Christmas, but really it has become, do you think, and I was going to ask you this question, actually, when we talked about, we actually do prep for this show, whether you believe us or not. Um, and And I wanted to ask you, do you think, though, during our lifetime that it has become more of a, an important holiday and maybe even the second most important holiday of the year? That is a really great question. I don't know the answer to that. One of the things that I think that I can say is that with my job as an attorney, I think that people are spending more money on Valentine's Day for their children because you've got parents that a lot of them live in separate households. And so they both are spending extra money and, and sometimes trying to compete against each other for who has the better Valentine's Day gift, who has the better Christmas gift, but they both are wanting to shower their children and show their kids that they love them by giving them a gift for Valentine's Day. You know, I know we used to get stuff for Valentine's Day. I remember getting the fun um, conversation hearts. You know, we got the big conversation hearts and then the little conversation hearts and we got some chocolate candy and we got some sweet tarts, which are my favorite. I have always loved the sweet tarts. And um, we got just some other little odds and ends. And I think you said your mom and dad got you, I guess when you were younger, maybe a toy or something. Well, I would get, yeah. I, in fact, I was, I was thinking this when you talked about it, and if you know me, I'm a car guy. I am a serious car person. I love cars. Um, and in fourth grade, I believe it was fourth grade, I got a remote control Porsche 911. It was the coolest thing. And that was that was my gift for Valentine's Day. Now it was, you know, now remote control cars are super cool now. But back then you basically went forward, backward, and left and right. If I remember it, that was about all right. I did. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and that was one of, I got, it was red too. It was a Porsche 911 and it was red. And, and that was like the coolest gift. Of course, I was a big Porsche person, um, and, and still am. And that's, that is probably a, a Porsche 911 is probably my dream car. Um, I would say, or at least in my top five. Um, so if you're trying to send me a message that you would like, a Porsche for Valentine's day. That's going to be a pretty solid. Not this year. Not this year. It's kind of like the jet <laughs> thing. We're not doing that this year. And <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it's, I think that 
my family, of course, being an only child, it was I had an advantage because mom and dad didn't have to. Fight yes, for you did. Else. Now, yeah. see, I had two brothers, so you know, I have to share with with uh, my brothers. Yes. So, so see, I have that advantage of of being able to um, get cooler gifts, and that happened at Christmas too. Because when you only have one child and he's adorable um, and you're, you love him so much that you'd give him anything that he asked for pretty much, uh, you know, you're going to score. And I did. So one of the things that I want to know from our viewers is what do you get your kids for Valentine's Day? Or if you don't have kids, I want to know how do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Do you go out to dinner? Do you make dinner? Do you exchange cards or gifts? Do you get flowers or chocolate or jewelry? Which, you know, all women love jewelry. And well, so so I know we have the percentages because we just talked about this a little while ago. Uh -huh. What is, so flowers is number one, if I was not mistaken. No, candy was no? number one. Candy was one, cards are two, and flowers and are flowers three, were right? And flowers were three, right. And then I think jewelry was after that. But there was also, you know, jewelry is proportionally a lot more expensive than chocolate candies and little conversation hearts. So you do have people buying both. I'm guessing people are going to be some people that buy flowers, jewelry, and cards, and candy. And then there's going to be some people who just walk up with a card and um, candy. And then there's going to be some people who buy their wife a card or buy their husband a card and then just don't even give it to them. It's it's in the drawer right over here, actually. <laughs> I think I think the next show, we should take them out and show them that, seriously, they're not even signed. They no, are, they're not signed. But then, no. I, but then I'll know what my card looks like. And well, I, I want to, I, I figured it, that. I wonder if it's bad waited, luck. But since we waited this long, maybe we should just make that year one and year two. I don't know. Is that bad luck to give a card that you've already purchased for the year prior? I don't know. Didn't give? Does anybody actually ever do this? I, oh, yes. Oh, I believe, I believe it. <laughs> I, I believe there are people out there. Uh, and I'm not going to point fingers at my mother and father. Um, <laughs> but well, they did. My dad. You know, go ahead. No, I was just going to say my dad. Oh yeah. He, um, he was cleaning out a desk and he found like four birthday cards that he never gave my mother. <laughs> well, you know, all of those things are, are really interesting and we really do want to hear from you. If you have a story, send us a message on Facebook, go and send us an email. Um, or I guess you can find Rob's phone number any place and text him. Pretty much. Or if you want to know if he's really like this, call him sometime and yes. talk to him and he will be just as entertaining on the phone. I'm quite sure. But you know, Rob, one of the things that we are also talking about in, in all seriousness, talking about Valentine's day is a really great opportunity for us to show love to our spouses, our significant others, our kids, our parents, our family members. It's a really great opportunity to uh, do those types of things. And um, one of the things that I would like to talk about is just showing love to each other because that's one of the things that God has done for us. And how do we show love back to God? And I think that when we're talking about love in general, and when we're talking about Valentine's Day, I think it's a really great opportunity for us to take a minute and to really sit and think about the fact that God sent his only son to die for us on a cross. And it was not a nice death. It was a very cruel death. And it was something that we didn't deserve. But yet he made that choice because he wanted to be able to spend eternity with us. And there is no other way to spend eternity with God than to accept for what Jesus did on the cross and to believe that he died for you and to confess your sins and to accept him as your personal savior. And if that's something that you're not sure if you've done, then we want to make sure that it's something that you do. Don't take chances with your eternity. Make sure you have things settled up with God because none of us know when our time comes to an end. 
And this is not hard. And we would love to be able to do that with you and to talk with you. So if you need somebody to talk to, please reach out to us because we want to be able to, to share Christ more thoroughly with you. Oh, that would be awesome. In fact, they can go to our website at AbundantTV.com and click on the prayer tab. If you do that and just fill that out, somebody from our staff or Kristen and I will get in contact with you. Yes. So Rob, what are some ways that we can really talk about love and show our love to other people? I mean, there are definitely things that we can do on a day in day out basis. It doesn't have to be just on Valentine's day. So I believe our role is to be a reflection of God as Christians. We need to be reflecting God and God's love to everybody that we meet. We need to love like Jesus loved us and be able to talk to other people. And they need to know that we're saved. We can't just go and put on a show for other people, but they need to really see in our day, day in and day out lives that we are a reflection of God and of his love. I think that the best way to show is to be able to give. I think if we give to others and we give without any, any, any hesitation and without any, you know, wanting something back in return, I think is in my opinion is one of the strongest ways we can say, Hey, listen, I care about you. I love you. This is why I feel this way and why my life is this way is because Jesus came into my heart. He changed my life. He changed me from the inside out. Well, absolutely. I think that doing something and doing some kind of act without conditions, without strings attached is something that is really important in showing God's love. Because when Jesus died on the cross for us, he didn't attach strings. He didn't put conditions on it. He didn't say, I'm only dying for you if you do X, Y, and Z, or I'm only dying for these certain people. He did this for everybody so that everybody could be saved. And then it really becomes a choice. And so I think reflecting God's love, one of the ways that we can do that, you're right, is just to do something without conditions, without strings attached. And, you know, one of the other things um, that we can do kind of associated with that is to just offer forgiveness. We don't always need to, um, we don't always need to have that connection with people or for them to say, hey, will you forgive me? We don't have to hold on to something that long to wait to some for somebody. We can just, hey, say, you know what, I, I forgive that person. Yep. Just the same as Jesus did. Father, and forgive them for they know not what they do as he was hanging on the cross. And it's freeing for you. Absolutely it is. So, you know, there are so many things that we could do. I mean, practical examples, I guess, of doing things we talked about, maybe, um, maybe buying somebody dinner or calling somebody to check on them. I don't know. Well, we live in a society now where so many people are lonely and sad and everything like that, that it, it, those things are great to be able to check on people. Um, so many people are isolated now. And so just even if you take five minutes and say, hey, listen, how, how are you doing, man? What's happening with you? And just listen for five minutes and give you don't know how, what an impact you're going to make on somebody's life. Oh, absolutely. Be willing to call them up, but be willing to spend time because you know if you're hurting, if somebody says, hey, how are you? You know if they're genuinely interested in hearing how you are or if it's just a, hey, how are you as they're walking on by? Yep. And I think oh, it's definitely. really important to make sure that we are really truly listening with our hearts to what people are saying, because you're right, there are so many hurting people. So I also think, you know, there's a way that we also can show our love back to God, not just to other people. We can show our love back to God on a day in, day out basis by just doing what he asks, being obedient. Mm -hmm. And we, we're we actually doing a, a study right now about that, about uh, listening to God and, and being able to be obedient to what he says. And yeah. so that's, that's, that's where we're going. Probably will be a study we talk about on our podcast, which is our kind of Bible study. We haven't, we don't have a name for this. So if you have an idea for a name for our podcast, which is different than the Robin Kristen show, 
Um, and it's it's a weekly podcast that we're doing covering the Bible. And, and this past uh, episode, it was really an interesting episode. We got into spies and it was fun. You'll have to check it out. It was, <laughs> yes. I went James Bond on her. It was very cool. And, yes. and so- yeah, and then you made me start thinking about the uh, Mission Impossible theme song. Then it was yes. going through my head the rest of the podcast. So you can check out our podcast on our website at AbundantTV.com. That's AbundantTV.com. Find Abundant TV on all your favorite social media platforms, including YouTube and on Rumble. We're on TikTok. We're on Instagram. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn, and you can find uh, me and Kristen both on Facebook. So one last question that I have for our viewers. I want to know what is your absolute favorite dessert to make? Because Rob and I both like sweets and I want to be able to make him something for Valentine's Day. So what is your absolute favorite dessert? If you want to shoot me a message or you can send it to Rob. I don't care. Um, but shoot me a message. I want to know if this is something that I can do. And well, maybe... it, it, and I wasn't, I wasn't a big dessert person until I met <laughs> you. And then it was sure. like, we, we celebrate everything. We're, we're 15 months into being married and we celebrate everything that goes along with it. So it's, you know, um, I have had so much fun on today's edition of the show and, and, and we appreciate each and every one of you. And, and we want to thank you and, and we want your input about what we should talk about next. I mean, what is the next thing that you want us to talk about? You know, Valentine's day, we're still, we've still got a couple of weeks to go on this Valentine's thing, but what, what do you want to see on the Robin Kristen show? Now, the other cool thing that you're going to see coming up is guests here on the show. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We have so many cool guests that are going to be making an appearance at some point in time on the Robin Kristen show. So you will just want to make sure that you just keep tuning in to find out who they might be. Well, that's it. And we're excited because I, I want to thank everybody. And I know Kristen does too. And, and I'm going to let her say that here in a second, but I'm so humbled by how many people have reached out this week and said, Hey guys, Good job. Thanks for, thanks for doing what you're doing. Um, love the show because you know what? The other part that we talked about, about people being alone and all of that stuff, there's a lot of people out there that don't hear laughter or don't hear people having fun. Um, and it's sad because a lot of people are in a situation in their life where they're maybe in a surroundings where it's not a lot of fun going on. And we're, I'm thankful that we can cut up and have a good time and, and, and make Kristen laugh throughout <laughs> the show. And so, but I do, I want to tell you how much we appreciate you because we do this because we believe that we can uplift the body. That's, that's our, our big thing is we want to encourage you, whether that's through laughter, through Bible study, through interviewing people that we think, you know, you would love to be around and just the whole thing, because really what we're doing is a lifestyle. By the way, that means we're out of time. I didn't realize my uh, my alarm was going to set itself off. That's awesome. Um, but anyway, uh, th this episode had a lot more bloopers than the other one. So <laughs> anyway, but no, we appreciate each and every one of you that that have been following us on 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 Instagram, Facebook and all those places and encouraging us. Yeah, we couldn't do this without all of you supporters of Abundant TV. God has blessed us um, with our viewership, just doing just absolutely amazing things. And we are believing for just more growth and um, more programming here on Abundant TV. That's it. Well, and listen, the Robin Christian Show. It's been fun. Of course. More <laughs> specials. Us all the time, every day. That's what I'm excited about. <laughs> Anyway, hey, listen, we appreciate each and every one of you. Remember to check us out on AbundantTV.com. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and small woodland creatures, this is the second edition of The Robin Kristen Show. See ya.